It all started with one question. What if I read a new book every single day of the week? And to make it even more interesting, I decided to read a different genre every single day of the week. This video is brought to you by my loneliness and my determination to read the hundred books this year. So if you enjoy it, make sure you like and subscribe. Today is the first day. Um, today is Tuesday. I should have started this video yesterday, but I was busy filming another video. So I'm going to start with a book that I am already reading. Would you rather by Stephanie Owls? It is good so far. The main character is black, so I like that. There's nothing really life changing about it. It does this thing that books do. She uses trauma to make our characters more interesting. If you want to read it, please read the trigger warning. Hey guys, um, time is currently 4.23. I want to talk to you guys, but the lighting is really bad and I am not happy with what the video looks like. It is still raining, so I'm just going to read and do a voiceover. Oh, that's so cute. The sun randomly just decided to come out and the rain just stopped so I'm going to read outside for a bit. I'm uncomfortable. Um, if you sign a contract and like a contract between you and a person and it's like a non-disclosure agreement like an NDA if you break it would you pay the money to is it the other person or the person that drafted the contract I don't know because it's kind of confusing I said I was liking it like it was nothing special I actually don't like it again I don't know how to describe it but it just feels like there is no good romance book again everything is just always so toxic is there is our girls my girl she's mine she's a person please like i'm just, it angers me so much i genuinely don't feel like reading it again but i'm almost done so i feel like i should just finish it but i don't get why this possessive thing is a thing why is it a thing in the first place how can i call somebody yours like it's kind of funny because when i was studying if you can hear background noise, sorry, I'm outside. When I was studying, I was listening to The Weeknd, Six Feet Under. And there was this lyric, there was this part that was like, Real love is hard to find, so she's not going to waste her time. Me. That's literally me, because I am not going to bother. If this, if this is how every single relationship is, I'm not going to bother. I'm genuinely not going to bother. You guys, the sky is so pretty. Oh my god. Isn't it so pretty? It's kind of crazy. Like, rain literally just stopped falling and the sky is this beautiful. <laughs> my favorite character in this book, my favorite character in this book, Zana. She's just so cool. She's like the secretary. I'm having such a good time right now. The good die young and poor. Why? Just, okay, guys. I just finished. And I thought this is so cute. I feel like the author doesn't show her face for it to be like this. I don't know. I'm going to research it. But it's so cute. Anyways. Yeah. That's enough reading for today. See you guys.
Hi guys, welcome to day two of reading a book in a day. If you cannot hear me, it's because of the rain. I want to do a little bit of work before we start our reading for the day. So, see you when I'm done with work. Time is currently 1.30 something. I'm waiting for the rain to stop so that I will feel not to talk. But the rain refused to stop. So, anyways, I want to read now. I'm in the mood to read. The book that I am going to be reading today is called The Yellow Wallpaper. Let's go. You guys remember my um, episode 2? The one of um, How to Get Out of a Reading Slum where I read Yellow Face. So it turns out that I wasn't supposed to read Yellow Face, I was supposed to read The Yellow Wallpaper, but I got them mixed up. So today we're going to be reading The Yellow Paper by. Charlotte Perkins Gilman. I look so fast like this. <laughs> this is the cover, it's also yellow. It is a short story and it's just 23 pages long, so I don't think it's taking me time. But I don't plan to rush through it either. From the recommendation, it was serious, not light hearted. So I'm expecting to like criticize. Forty steps today. Seven hundred and forty. And time is two forty two. And I'm taking seven hundred and forty steps. Can you At this point, I think it's safe to say that I gave a sedentary, sedentary. How do you pronounce that word? Whatever. I'm reading to you guys. The furniture in this room is no worse than in harmonious. However, for we had to bring it all from downstairs. The wallpaper, as I said before is torn off in spots and it sticketh closer than a brother they must have had perseverance as well as hatred <laughs> Niggas want me to get ratchet Niggas want me to attack it put the hood on and they're telling me cashes aren't you like boss okay <coughs> Quick review of yesterday's book. To be honest, to be very honest with you guys, I didn't understand it when I read it. It was very confusing. It's sort of book that the meaning is like hidden under it. So everything is like a metaphor. So I did a little bit of research then and when I finally read what it is about, I was not able to see it in what I read. So basically the book is a criticism of the patriarchy. But what happened was the woman just gave birth, so she had something they described as postpartum depression. And they moved into this new house and I'm finding really hard to remember what happened because it was so short. So what happened was they were in this particular room where there was a yellow wallpaper and the yellow wallpaper disturbed her. She didn't want to be there. Her husband did not let her do anything and she had this urge to rip the wallpaper. So that was basically a metaphor for her being trapped. The yellow wallpaper is the societal standards and the patriarchy and her husband not listening to her and not allowing her to do what she wants to do. Okay, voiceover Adeola here. I'm editing the video now and I just realized that I didn't really do justice to what the entire story is about. So I kind of want to do that right now. Like I said, the story is like a 
criticism of how the society treats women and how women's opinion or women's feelings are never really taken seriously for example when the woman in the story expressed a dislike for the yellow wallpaper or how she didn't want to be in the room or the entire house no one really paid attention to her her husband was like doesn't matter they are going to leave soon or even the fact that she had something like postpartum depression which sounds like an actual mental issue so everyone just took it as like she's being paranoid or and if you relate it to what's happening in society nowadays, for example, menstrual pain, when you have menstrual pain and you're like, oh, it's normal, it's a normal thing, but it's literally still pain. Like, when it's going through pain becomes something normal. Or when women are being assaulted and people ask, did she say no? What was she wearing? Just things like that. When women's experiences and opinions and just feelings in general are never really taken seriously until they become violent and yeah basically that's the entire story and i literally just pulled it for you guys so i'm sorry in case you wanted to read it that was very interesting it was a lot deeper than i expected i didn't enjoy the actual book because i didn't understand when i was reading it but i enjoy what it means because i don't know if you guys know but obviously i'm very feminist i'm very defy the patriarchy type of person I do not like accepting societal standards. I don't like the way women are treated in society. So, obviously, I like books like this. That's true. Oh, yeah. Okay. Very- Hello, people of the internet. How are you today? I'm currently uploading my video, and it is at 3%. While the video is uploading, I am going to start the new book. We're reading The Housemaid is Watching by Frida McFadden. She lives next door. She knows your secrets. This is book three in the series. Book one is The Housemaid. Book two is The Housemaid's Secrets. This is The Housemaid is Watching. The entire series so far is about a girl. Then she just got out of prison. Then she started working as a housemaid. But the families she works for, something is always wrong with them. And it's the type of thriller where the main character, the narrator, is unreliable, which makes it so good. The book has 315 pages. Prologue. There is blood everywhere. I have never seen so much blood. It's soaking the cream-colored rug, sweeping into the nearby floorboards, speckling the legs of the oak coffee table. Perfect oval droplets have made it all the way it's endless if i look hard enough will i find flecks of blood on the car in the garage on the blades of grass in the lawn in the supermarket along crown across town even worse it's all over my hands what a mess despite the fact that i don't have much time i am aching to clean it all up when there is a stain especially on the carpet i was taught you're supposed to clean it quickly before it sets. Once it dries, the stain will become permanent. I assess the situation. Okay, this is bad. I am in deep trouble. This is what I love. Did she, did she do it? Things don't always happen, so I wonder why. Just got to chapter two. Um, I have cramps, so that's good. I have been waiting for an hour, so taking a 60 minute break. Yeah, I just found out who died. So that's that's interesting. You 
guys i just finished time is 8 10 and i just finished not to lie the cover of this entire series is just so beautiful like the eye the eye though like Tell me this isn't pretty. Like, tell me this is not fine. Are you kidding? Are you joking? Like, cord, cord. Okay, so it is day four of this challenge. And today we are reading a fantasy book. This book is the last book in the Shatter Me series that I was reading last year. It turned out that I hadn't actually finished it. This is just the novella. And I'm doing a voiceover because I didn't feel much this day because mental health was not okay at all. So I guess it's just going to be time lapses and sped up clips of me reading. Sorry, you guys, but I promise tomorrow's one is going to be better. <laughs> when you want to film that everybody decides that they want to be making noise i was looking at my face for like a good three seconds literally and i was like something is wrong with my face like i look weird i'm not wearing earring you guys today is the last day of the challenge today is saturday we started this challenge on tuesday and i have read four books since tuesday yesterday's book was very it was a bit boring because I didn't really remember the actual story, but it was nice. Like, meeting the characters that you once fell in love with today, like, meeting them again. Anyways, today we're going to do something fun, something that feels less like reading and more like a fun time. I'm going to listen to a, an audio book while just doing stuff. Like Nigerian people really be making all sorts of noise. The point is, we're going to be listening to an audio book. I'm currently listening to Feel Good Productivity. I was reading the actual book before, but then I switched to an audio book because it just feels nicer to be reading and be doing something else. This challenge has been fun. I felt less lonely talking to you guys every day and reading a book every day. So, thank you for accompanying me. God, I look so weird. <laughs> Hey guys, someone should tell me to give up on ever attempting ever to style my hair. It's like my destiny is just always have my hair packed up, like away from my face because it always looks bad. Is it just me? I don't know, I just hate it. Anyways, time is what is 16? 16 is. People that use military time, they need to check it because something's wrong with them. You guys, time is 9 9 15. What the fuck? 9 uh. She ain't got time for loving. Louis Vuitton, a husband. She had to die in the club then. She had to die in the club till she. Six feet on the she gon' get that fucking fake. Six feet. What happened? What's it? She gon' get that fucking fake. 
six. What do you want? You want something, oh? Mm. I'm not doing it. Ah! I know you are old. your phone is holding me. I will drop it. Mm. You felt guys. I just checked. I am three hours into the audio but oh my god, the wind is winding. So it's giving good vibes. Chapter seven conserve. Business. Mm -hmm. I'd gotten better at unblocking myself. Overcome because you're packing too much into each day. I call these over your mood is suffering because of the weeks, years, or decades my productivity. But a few days after that, I realized something This is what I'm going to be drawing. I know it is very random, but I like mm -hmm. drawing weird mm -hmm. things mm -hmm. like this. There is this, there is this one, which to be honest doesn't make any sense, but it's fun. I did this while listening to the great Gatsby. Then there's this one. I did this when my mental health was very bad. So I had this type of exercises help. Then there is this one. I did this one while listening to music with my sisters. It is slanted. I don't know if you can tell. Basically, all those things, I get my inspo from Pinterest. Then I started this, but I've not done the design stuff yet. So I'm going to complete it. Do and 